Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Nikolai, and this is another episode at the kitchen where we share memories, where we talk about recent games or old games that we finished, and we talk about reviews that is not going into the short reviews. However, it evolved into the long reviews. Because sit tight and let's start talking about one of the most greatest games in the video game history, which is called The Last of Us. Yes, I recently finished uh, The Last of Us Part 1 on PC. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you saw the Steam reviews, like the percentage, how horrible it is. Yes, I'm gonna spoil you right now. It is horrible. But we're not gonna talk about the um, uh, different specifications, the different bugs that I catch during the playthrough, absolutely not. We will talk only specifically about my memories, because I actually played on PlayStation 3, this original game back in 2013, on PlayStation Slim 3 Pro, I mean, just PlayStation 3 Slim, then I played on PlayStation 4, a mastered version, and now I finally played on PC, The Last of Us Part 1, which is Remake. So, back in 2013, when this game came out, um, we had lots of hype due to the fact that it's Naughty Dog's brand new title, brand new, you know, franchise, possible franchise, and everybody kind of looked at it very weirdly, because we had another zombie game, we had the game from developers of Uncharted. Yes, Uncharted 2 was very amazing, like one of the best games ever as well, before The Last of Us. But still it was looked very weird, little girl, old guy, killing zombies, killing people, going from, from town to town, and the trailers were very... Um, not clear enough, I would say. Well, honestly for me, because I clearly remember those days, because 2013 was a big year for me. And when the game came out, everybody started to talk about it. Every single magazine, every single website, there was like, The Last of Us, The Last of Us. It was like, oh my god, why this game is so big? So, of course, we ended up going and buying the brand new title, The Last of Us, besides... It was one of those games that were officially being translated by Sony and on Russian language, of course. And we were told, and we, we, we thought that this is incredible. The voices, the acting, the animation, the story from the very first minutes of the game, just blowing your mind, breaking all stereotypes and cliche things. So, yeah, we were playing this game with my dad for a really while, and I finished this game only once on PlayStation 3, on standard difficulty. I kind of like the game, there's parts that we're gonna talk later that I didn't like in this game. But overall, yeah, I had a very good uh, memories about this game, but my dad, he played it all the time, he finished it on Grounded. Then when remastered version came out, I played it a little bit and mostly I watched because my family, my friends, my dad, they played it all the time. That was like top tier game on PlayStation 4, it was I think 60 FPS, it was, you know, it was really, really good version. And I watched it a lot. I watched it like maybe 10 times, maybe 20 times. So I know every detail about this game, like about the story, about the characters. And I didn't want to play it, because I just watched it. There is a meme going on the web, uh, websites and in the internet that is saying The Last of Us is one of the best games to finish it on YouTube. It's one of the best platforms. Yeah, you don't have to pay anything, you don't have to... Uh, pay attention to anything, like the gameplay, you don't have to struggle with sometimes very bad decisions in this game. But overall, it's one of the best stories in the video game history. So yeah, and I was playing that while during the playthrough, my first playthrough, I was like, wow, oh my gosh, such an intense story, such an amazing characters. What's gonna be next? What's gonna be as an idea? I'm just, ooh, gonna blow your mind. And I was very excited 
for the second part. We're not gonna talk about Last of Us Part 2, but yeah, besides Last of Us Part 2, there is a Last of Us Part 1. Officially, they mentioned that they want to let know the players that don't forget about The Last of Us Part 2, because this is The Last of Us Part 1. It came out on PC on March 28th, I hope so. <laughs> I don't remember, I'm so sorry. But and initially this game was supposed to come out on March 4th of 2023. Like almost, like not a month difference, but you know, kind of 24 days is a lot. And uh, one of my first things that I thought why they postponed it, not because of technical uh, issues that the computer version has, definitely not because of it, because there was a show going on HBO, which called just The Last of Us, one of the greatest shows in the mankind's and Neil Druckmann is a pure genius, of course, of course, we've heard that many, many times, definitely. My most favorite part is part three, Mwah, beautiful. But if it would be separate movie, I would not watch it. Would you watch it? I don't know, it's very debatable, but we talk about the games. So, back to Last of Us part one, it came out on 28th, probably Sony made this decision because they scared that the show might be dropped, because The Last of Us part, um, uh, the show, the third episode came out before March 4th, so, and the audience were, got divided, immediately got divided, and people dropped, some, some, somebody of course dropped the show, somebody continued to show, continued to watch the show, but those people that played the game and wanted to play the game, they had no choice but kind of wait till the end because the, the Sony already announced that it will be postponed till March 28th. So, and the game came out, I mean, sorry, the show finished, players got kind of happy, kind of not happy, but they started to waiting for the game because the game could maybe give you more details, maybe uh, more interesting stories and spoiler none of those things in the show they showed that supposed to be shot. For example, the scene where Ellie doesn't know how to swim and she jumps to save Joel. Well, probably Neil Druckmann decided, ah, it's not a plot or whatever. Yeah, Ellie almost died and Joel was, he really wanted to save her. But yeah, um, Fireflies came. They knocked him out, like, it doesn't matter, like, seriously, whatever. Or, who cares that Tess killed her husband, that um, her son got turned in, you know, like, eh, it doesn't matter. That's, like, for toxic gamers in the game. And this is why I really, really do recommend you to at least watch it on YouTube. The game, not the show. Because, once again, the show tries to tell you some brief story, something completely out of place, the story that is a little bit about Jewel and Ellie. So, uh, now we finally came to the part where we're gonna talk about The Last of Us Part 1 on PC. So yeah, this game is already... Uh, I started to play without knowing how bad it is in regards of technical issues. Everything was glitching, no 60 FPS. I never seen any single part in the game where I had 60 FPS. It was always between maybe like 30 up to 50 FPS, but most of the time it was I think 30. I changed the settings. I have not that bad computer, but still I have kind of old. I have 1070 Ti, um, Nvidia GeForce, and it was like around... Um, I, I put it the settings around mid-range, I tried of course high, then I tried the lowest, super lowest, I swear there was no difference. I completely assure you that very low settings and mid settings, absolutely no difference. It's always like 40-50, 40-50 FPS, 30 FPS, 
Then I just decided to go high and it was still like 40, 50, 40, 50. I was like, okay, whatever, you know what? Let me just to see the graphics, what they did. And yeah, it, probably it's one of the worst, worst remakes that we ever had since I don't know when, since, <laughs> since 13, where it goes X, I, 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 the numeric, Rome's numeric. Yes, this is one of the worst remakes. Why? Well, first of all, uh, the graphics doesn't seem that enhanceable. Because original game remastered, I clearly remember how good the graphics were. Yes, the models were a little bit not that detailed. The world is not that, you know, bright. Not the many details on the Boston's building. You can go watch the comparison, the video comparison on the YouTube where people are like, oh my gosh, look at this building. Oh, like, look at this. Yes, there are differences. I agree, the difference is pretty big in some places, but in some places it's not that big and the most importantly, it's not that crucial. So if you go to the sewer or to another uh, fight with, um, with bandits or zombies, you will see that it's, it was not worth it, seriously. It's not worth it. However, there is another part which makes this remake even worse than remastered version. Why? Because of gameplay. The gameplay stayed completely the same. Absolutely nothing has changed. Neither the crafting system, neither the upgrading system, neither the boring parts where you have to pick up the ladder, go all other side to the level or something with this ladder, put it, Hey, Ellie, please pick up the ladder, like, do that, do that, put it over there. And it was so annoying. I was like, wow. Like, you really didn't change anything. So, how can it be remake? Because remake is something, in my opinion, at least Dead Space. At least Final Fantasy VII. At least Resident Evil 4. Yes, it's one of the greatest remakes that you can watch and see and say, wow, that was a lot of work. People implemented so many different things, mechanics, ideas, those things that were never being implemented before because of some limitations, you know, graphic processors and many, many other things. But Naughty Dog, they decided, you know what, no, if we're gonna change something, then we have to change the entire level design and fans won't appreciate it because the original level design is a masterpiece. Okay, I do agree with that point because back in the day, in PlayStation 3, uh, this game was unique. It was so unique, nobody had any single, like even close thing to that. Yes, we had Metal Gear Solid, which was, eh, eh, you know, but other games couldn't compete with Last of Us, so of course Last of Us won this battle. And most importantly, why I hate this remake on PC, because of Last of Us Part 2. The gameplay was just outstanding. Like, the way Ali was crawling in the grass, the way how Abby, well, like, she was like just, you know, everything was so well made. And then, and then the remake came out, which is Last of Us Part 1, and nothing been changed. So the fans were like, wait, hold on, why you didn't even try to import something from Last of Us Part 2 to Last of Us Part 1? Because Part 1 is based on the same engine like Last of Us Part 2, right? So technically you can use some interesting ideas, you can try to change just a little bit, just a little bit some levels. And here we are, we have a masterpiece again. But no, you can open right now Steam reviews and uh, where there is no moderation from Sunny, I would like to admit, because Metacritic, of course, and Metacritic, you won't see bad reviews, like honest reviews, because Metacritic tells you what Sony wants to hear from you. And Steam doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't keep things quiet enough. Yes, on Steam, it's, 38% of positive feedback. I would like to remind you that those type of reviews 
used to have um, like very low reviews, like Warcraft, Reforged, like Refunded. When Diablo 2 um, Resurrected just came out, which called Reconnected, like very bad examples again. 13 game 13 people were just devastated that game because it was unplayable you cannot play this game properly yes cyberpunk 2077 and many many other things that were kind of well cyberpunk is a bad example because it was not remake it was a brand new game however cyberpunk was a good game with a very bad technical issues so last of us part last of us itself is a good game with also very bad technical issues. However, 10 years later, 10 years later, it's much, much worse than other games that already came out in those 10 years. So this is the problem that Naughty Dog, they didn't look through it and they didn't want, maybe they didn't care, you know, they just wanted to resell the game, you know, kind of redo it. But I cannot see the proper thing in those parts where they say, you know what, we cannot do that. The level is still different. The levels have to be the same because fans won't understand. But in Last of Us Part 2, everything's logical. Everything can be just transferred. I don't know. So then we go to the final part of this short, maybe long review is the part of my personal experience of Last of Us on PC. So I finished this game within two days, I played pretty fast paced because most of the parts I used to remember, most of the parts I used to watch, and uh, overall I like the game. Yes, I like the port. It had the exact same feeling like I had in 2013, uh, nice cutscenes, amazing sound, um, I played, of course, on original PlayStation 5 controller, and <laughs> uh, yes, DualSense 5, only wired, only wired. God forbid you try to do wi uh, without the wire, you won't feel the tactical things. I would like to tell you that it does work, it's just no tactical feelings when the rain is going, or the trail is like jumping off the cliff, Yes, but overall the triggers works, the uh, vibration, the head vibration works, everything was fine. I don't know what they were saying in Steam, like dual sense works only when it's wired. Partially, but whatever. So yeah, I finished the game, I, I finished Left Behind with Ellie. And actually I really like Left Behind because it's so short, it's so fast paced, I wish the entire game <laughs> would be like that. Yeah, so right now we're going to the other part, um, my personal experience, the parts that I didn't like. And there is like three parts. First part is this letters, that hidden loadings that they used to explain us. When the hidden loadings were showing, you cannot do anything. It basically breaks the engine, game's engine, and that's why a player, have, a player has to wait for another area to load. While you're carrying the ladder, etc., you can watch the speedruns, cl it clearly shows that it's true, that the game is loading pretty badly and you have to wait, etc., yada yada. So, but we play on <laughs> like GeForce, I mean, sorry, RTX 4090, one of the most, you know, advanced technologies, why you couldn't change it? I don't know. Uh, the second part is the pace. The pace of the story. I love the story. I love the characters. I think that's one of the most deep things in the video game histories. However, however, in remake, in my opinion, they could trim something or can expand it a little bit more deeper with the scenarios and some stuff because I'm pretty sure Naughty Dog were already aware that those people that play part one, probably they know part two, probably they watch the show and they want to see a little bit different angle of the story. They want to see maybe about Tess once again, maybe a little bit more about Jewel. Just some stuff, how he left Texas, how he arrived to Boston, because 
And one of the things, if you remember, when they arrived Pittsburgh slash Kansas City, I don't know how the fuck they, uh, excuse me, <laughs> how on earth they moved to um, Kansas in the show, but in Pittsburgh they were at the game, I don't know. And uh, they couldn't explain when uh, Jules says, oh, I always used to be on different sides of barricades. I was on the bad side, I was on the good side, I tried to survive. Nothing in the game, nothing in the show. Okay, well, it is what it is. And the third game, in my opinion, again, it's um, the final part. The winter and the spring. I think it goes a little bit too fast. I really like this winter, I think it's beautiful, mate. But the part of the alley, I think, is a little bit too weak. I thought that it can be goes a little bit more scary, you know, because Ellie with the guns and everything, she can like kill like 10 people, 20 people, whatever, she can just sprint out entire stage, that's actually what happened with me, <laughs> I played again on standard level difficulty and I just sprinted out entire level, I killed like 2-3 bandits, uh, then I took the controls of Jewel and just like sprinted out through entire level. And here we are, it's spring. Okay, I do see that how it happened, because um, back in the days, it was well known that um, the process of developing the game was a little bit too long. The developing of the game started in 2009, and they're a little bit rushed, there was crunch times, and they tried to finish, and there was like some redoing sections, uh, Naughty Dogs, bosses were not happy, testers were not happy, so they were doing that. Yeah, you can read it more about it anywhere, like that Last of Us Part 1 is kind of complicated. That's actually how the Uncharted 4 has to be finished, because God bless Neil Druckmann, he was one of those people, main guys, who were able to finish Uncharted 4. And this is why Uncharted 4 is a pure masterpiece, and because of Neil Druckmann, the guy who took initiative, who took the lead and finished this game, like the entire series. Hopefully, hopefully not. I still, I still hope that one day we will see Uncharted 1, Uncharted 2 and 3 remake, like proper remake, not those uh, Thieves Collection thing that they're trying to sell us over PC. And another thing that I would like to mention is Iron Galaxy. Iron Galaxy is the studio that ported, ported Last of Us Part 1. And unfortunately, this is not their first thing. Before they did Uncharted 4, it was kind of fine, but still not that great. And if you Google it, and if you know who is the, um, uh, who is the director of Iron Galaxy, it was one of the former... I'm not gonna mention any names, I do remember the names, but I'm not gonna mention any names. It's one of the co-producers of Sony, from Sony, from Sony Entertainment System. So he became a boss of Iron Galaxy, and probably there's like you know some some handshake. So that's why Iron Galaxy were making the part one. Horrible technical issues, disgusting uh, controls on keyboard and mouse. Of course, I tried to play it on mouse. It's like for computer, right? And everything was horrible. Probably Sony tries to sell you PlayStation 5, because like, oh, look, look how horrible Last of Us Part 1 on computer. Yeah, go buy PlayStation 5, why you need computer, right? Well, it doesn't work like that. People that buying Last of Us or any games on computer, they know how it works they are much more advanced in terms of technical stuffs of the game. That's why there's resolution options, there's many graphical things, and PC gamers, they always can decide on their own what they want to see. You don't give a damn about shadows, turn them on. You want to have very detailed high-K resolution thing with those ray tracing and 60 FPS because human eye cannot see more than 24 frames, but your eye is so good you want to see 100 FPS, even 200 FPS. Sure, no problem. 
just go buy a very expensive computer and here we are. This is why I so love consoles, because consoles just gives you just gives you a game. The experience, how you're supposed to experience the game. That's why I hate on games and brand new games. You have performance thing, you have graphical thing, you have with ray tracing, like what what is that? Can I just experience the game? And Unfortunately, Last of Us Part 1 is having the same thing on PlayStation 5. It gives you also two uh, compatibilities of the game, which is performance or graphics. And you're like, okay, in performance I see 60 FPS, in graphics I see kind of RTX with 30 FPS. Mm -hmm, okay. And this is not a good thing. And that's why I'm still gonna be going with Xbox Series S. S not X, because S is, is the perfect decision. It's a small console which, which gives you honest 30 FPS in, in titles, you know, yes, it's kind of like 2K, less than 2K, like HD, it's a little bit more powerful than PlayStation 4 Pro, I think, or maybe it's the same power, I don't know, <laughs> but anyway, it's, consoles is the best thing ever. Last of Us on PlayStation 3 is the best thing ever as well. But Last of Us Part 1 is a disgrace of new generation. It is a disgrace of entire uh, decade of the games that came out after Last of Us Part 1. I'm sorry, Last of Us, yes, the normal one. And it's definitely a huge disgrace for all games that is having a title or a tiny thing under it which says remake so yep think on your own and thank you very much for watching it till the very end please join the channel subscribe on twitch twitter instagram in the description down below will be playlist with multiple other games press like put command and i'll definitely see you next time